Hi everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another video in my Zodiac Create a Sim series where I create Zodiac signs as sims. Right now it is Gemini season so I thought it was only fitting to do Gemini today. But before we start I just wanted to remind everyone that I am going to start a new eco lifestyle let's play when the pack comes out which is next week already so if you are interested in watching that let's play please go and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will know when i upload those videos now i will talk a bit about the new pack and you know my opinions on it later on in the video but first let's talk about the sign gemini all the information that i'm going to share with you are from the book the secret language of birthdays written by gary goldschneider and Joost elfers so if you are interested in astrology, I will leave a link to this book down below because I really do recommend it. Anyone born between the 22nd of May and the 21st of June is a Gemini. And yellow and light shades of green are the colors of this sign. So I did really try to use these colors in her outfits a lot. The element of Gemini is air and the sign represents velocity, intellect and easy communication. They get associated with details and they occupy themselves with the connection between the mind and verbal expression. Livelihood, variety and change are very important to them. As the sign suggests, they crave having a partner. Gemini can adjust quickly and suddenly change course. They want to detach themselves from parents and other authority figures and need social integration. They are very vocal about their opinions but aren't necessarily rebellious. Personal freedom is the most important thing to them. So they are rather attracted to excitement and change. So they get bored very quickly. And Gemini are the kind of people that prefer going out rather than staying at home. Gemini really enjoy traveling with one or more friends and they see any commotion as an adventure, which brings out their bravery and resourcefulness. Gemini generally have much energy and gravitate towards activities that cause adrenaline rushes and many different ways of transport. They want to be part of a group and like gatherings, but they don't like anything long term. Which is also why they wouldn't become members of sport clubs and such, and why they change up their interests so much. They don't want to tie themselves to something they need to commit to. People often see Gemini as fickle and shallow people, but they themselves don't consider change a bad thing. Being unrestrained is essential to them. So there you have it. That is my description of the zodiac sign Gemini. If you are a Gemini, please let me know if you recognize yourself in this description or if you know someone who is a Gemini and let me know your own sign in the description down below. As you can see in the video, I didn't make this sim from scratch. That is because this is a sim that I have made a long time ago, but when I thought of making a Gemini sim, this sim just seemed perfect for it. Her name is Nora Nichols and I I did change up her traits and stuff and also I changed her eye color from brown to green because green is one of the colors of Gemini but uh, I left the rest the same basically. Anyways the traits I gave her are the athletic trait to represent the active side of Gemini. I gave her the dance machine trait to represent again the active uh, side of Gemini but also the going out and having adventure part and I gave her outgoing you know I was thinking of giving her the leader of the pack and uh, club insider traits and stuff but I decided not to do that because a club usually means long-term commitment and that is not what Gemini likes so I just decided to give her the outgoing trait which would mean she likes you know hanging out with people but not necessarily in an organized club setting. And I also gave her the party animal aspiration. I, I just thought that was the most fitting one. I must say I found it very hard to work with the colors yellow and light green. I don't know why, but I, it was difficult. I didn't have many options that looked very good on her. So it was a struggle, but I, I made it. I think I did, okay. Uh, and I love this hair. I love all her hairstyles in general, but this one, you know, the very long ponytail, I just think it looks so good on her. I love it. 
Anyway, let's talk a bit about eco lifestyle before this voiceover is over. <laughs> uh, as I said, I'm gonna be doing a new Let's Play, so I'm very excited about that. And personally, I wasn't expecting this expansion pack. I wasn't necessarily wanting this expansion pack before we heard about this, but when we heard about it, I was excited. And you know, <laughs> it just really fits my personality and playstyle. I am like an eco-friendly person myself, if I can say so. My friends do say so. So I guess it's true. Uh, <laughs> I am very aware of the environment and the impact that we humans and I as a person have on the environment. So it just really suits me as a person. And then I do think that this, that the type of gameplay that we're gonna get in this pack can be as immersive as you want it to be. Like you can have all the options checked and you will get so many I find so many detailed new aspects like the the split bills and all of the effects of the materials you're using when building that's just there's so much in this pack that's gonna affect all of your gameplay in every world and in every style you play in so I think that is amazing but it's really good also that you can turn things on and off that you do or do not want so as I said, you can make this as immersive as you want, I think. I hope. <laughs> Personally, I am so, so excited. I, I really like the idea of, you know, your sim having an impact on how the world around you develops. That That's really nice, in my opinion. It's like uh, seasons. It, it just affects your overall gameplay. And I, I think that is really good. And the townies seem very nice and I also really like that there's some more apartments in the new world Evergreen Harbor. I am not someone who plays in apartments a lot. That's usually because I like to have pets in my families and having dogs in apartments is the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> because they need to go out like every five minutes and it's just... I don't like it. But if you don't have a dog, I think apartments are very nice. So I'm excited to play in these new apartments. I really like that there's one without an elevator. You have to walk the stairs. I don't know why, but it's just... I like it. Possibly because it's realistic. I think the overall gameplay of this is quite realistic, you know. And I also like that there's like the voting system that you can, you know, affect how the neighborhood like the people in your neighborhood are going to behave and the uh what are those lots called they change the community lots that can change into a community garden marketplace or workplace i just i really like that and the build items seem quite nice i am not a builder but the build items look quite nice to me and then there's also the creator sim items that i really like like especially the hairstyles and the fact that we are getting plugs i love the plugs and you know the whole look of the items the overall look of the creator sim items looks really good to me like most people however i am um, not a fan of the uh, denim skirt pants jeans combination thing like what is it it looks a bit weird but you know i might even actually use it in my let's play because it's weird maybe not i don't know <laughs> but uh, it is nice to experiment with and i'm very very excited to make my sims for the new let's play and, and you know explore the pack i think it's going to be such a big pack to explore unlike um some packs that we have had lately like sulani the the island living pack i really love the world and the items and, and stuff that uh, that come with this pack. But the gameplay is just... Um, I was bored out of my mind so quickly. So I am really excited for the gameplay of this next pack. And to experience everything, explore everything. It's going to be my thing, I think. So yeah. Please let me know your opinions on the pack down below in the comments. And it's fine if you disagree with me or any other people in the comments just keep it respectful that's the only thing i ask we can have a discussion but just be nice i would really love to know what you guys think and also if you have any ideas of what i should 
like specific things that I should explore in my let's play please also let me know because this is going to be such a big pack I can't do everything immediately so if you have like specific things that you want to see like you definitely want to see let me know as well because that is going to help me decide what I want to do in this let's play so yeah let me know I also want to quickly mention something very unrelated but I saw a video of the Dutch clinical neuropsychologist Erik Scherder and he talked about what we can do during these times to better manage negative feelings and stress because of the quarantine and the two things that you can do are one the best thing is moving around so do some sports it doesn't have to be heavy sports also just walking the stairs a few times or going for a walk if you can of course are very good for your mental health in these times and also mm, what he calls mental activity so things like playing chess making your brain work also really helps so i know it can be hard but if you follow these tips they will help so give it a chance and try it out anyway this is almost the end of the video so i'm gonna wrap it up here the sim will be up on the gallery and if you want to download her you can find her by looking up my origin id which is simmingbird or look for the hashtag simmingbird as always i will be making a cc list so that is going to be linked in the description down below as well so you can download all the good cc that you want in your game as i have said before i'm going to work on a new eco lifestyle let's play and at the moment i have this create a sim zodiac series going on and i do some other builds and other create a sim videos as well so if you like those videos please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my other videos if you like this video please give it a thumbs up things like that really do support the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye